Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. MSNBC says the quiet part out loud about uh, Vice President Kamala Harris. Now, I'm going to show you a clip that involves a producer from MSNBC, where he pretty much says that MSNBC is actually doing everything they can to support Kamala Harris and her election as the next president. Now, me personally, I've known for quite a while that the mainstream news media, MSNBC, NBC, CNN, ABC, have wanted to uh, have a Democrat be the next president of the United States because of how they report the news and how they slant the news towards the Democrat Party. If you watched their news channel, the, the, even the reporters are slanting their news. Now, I can understand the people in the evening the commentators who are supposed to just bloviate and give their opinions, even during the day when they're supposed to be reporting real news, you know, giving both sides, they slant it to the Democrat side. <clears throat> and so with what this uh, guy that used to be with Project Veritas has done is that he sent a female out. They actually did this. They found this uh, producer on a day nap and he he pretty much just spilled his beans because he was trying to get with this particular female who happened to be a reporter for um, this individual who used to do Project Veritas. And I'm going to show you this clip so you can see it for yourself. And I'm not just making this up. <laughs> this is the real deal. And these are words from the producer's mouth himself. So do you feel like MSNBC is doing enough to help the Harris campaign? I mean, they're doing all they can. Meet Basil Hamden, a writer and producer for MSNBC's weekend show, Iman. Basil also reveals that, quote, what her message of the day is, is their MSNBC's message of the day. Uh, what have they done to help the Harris campaign? Amplify her message. What, what her message of the day is, is their message of the day. Hamden revealed that MSNBC is the Democratic Party's mouthpiece and is doing anything to get Kamala elected. Hamden says this news network is indistinguishable from the Democratic Party. So is MSNBC just like doing whatever it takes to get Kamala elected? Yes, yes. It hammers home the point that I'm making that this news network is indistinguishable from the party. Are they just the Democratic Party's mouthpiece? Exactly. MSNBC is the Democratic Party's mouthpiece. Yeah, yeah. Basil calls MSNBC viewers brainwashed and states that MSNBC made their viewers dumber over the years. Viewers get mad at the guests or the host if the host were to criticize Democrats. They've made their viewers dumber over the years. I think brainwashing and dumbing down. It's bad. Aggressive. I get it. Helps Trump. And when she's delivering these messages now, I think she keeps getting better. Kamala Harris is telling the truth. The hate campaign against Kamala Harris has begun. They purposefully pronounce her name wrong. But as a black woman, the product of a mixed marriage, she's an inspiration. I don't know, Nicole, vote for her or don't vote for her. But isn't it great to just have a positive conversation right now? So you ever talk to a fellow Democrat and everything that they spew out is something that they heard on MSNBC? I'll give you an example. Donald Trump is a racist. Where do you think they got that from? Because before Donald Trump came down that golden escalator in 2015, everybody, all the politicians and all Hollywood loved him. But as soon as he came down that elevator and said, these people that are coming in from other countries, they're rapists. They're murderers, people from a sane asylum. He was labeled from that day forward as a racist, a homophobe. And the mainstream news media put that label on him and it is stuck. So all the viewers of MSNBC, they've heard that continuously. And what you do is you repeat the same thing over and over and over and over again. Eventually, for the listeners who listen to that news channel every single day, it will be ingrained into their minds that Donald Trump is a racist. It's just like when we went to school and we had to learn our multiplication tables, our ABCs. What we would do, we would simply do it over and over and over again until it stuck. 
One plus one is two. A, B, C, D. Two times three is six. You keep re repetitive actions create something that's permanent in your brain. And that's exactly what all these news agencies done. They keep repeating the same talking points from the Democrat Party, and it's stuck in the minds of those who believe that Donald Trump is a racist, that he's a sexist, that he's a misogynist, and he's a threat to democracy. A threat to democracy. You hear that term so much that it makes me want to throw up. I hear it so much. This is a constitutional republic where everybody's voice counts, not just a select few. In a democracy, a select few controls the masses. In a republic, everybody's voice is equal. So they want you to believe that this is a democracy so that the Democrats can control everything that happens. And they have the media in their back pocket. <clears throat> Let it be no doubt. They have the media in their back pocket. So not only do you have to fight the media, you got to fight the platforms, YouTube, excuse me, and all these other platforms that disseminate information to try to get out your own individual message. Facebook, where the Democrats control that, or people that lean Democrat control those, eight, those uh, platforms. So it's very hard to get your message out when the people who are in control of those platforms control what is said or what gets through their algorithms. But let me know what you think down in the comments. If you like this video, hit the like button. Please turn on your notifications so you know when I uh, release a new video. And thank you again for listening and watching the Retired Vet Show. God bless you all. Stay safe.